Hi, what's up? It's Ruth. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining us today. I have had a very exciting afternoon because I've had a new laptop joining us. Um, I didn't think it was worth doing an unboxing because frankly it's been out for ages and I don't very much about computers but it is the new MacBook Pro M1, etc. Sounds great, I'm sure it'll be fine. I want to make myself a desktop background, which is more interesting, exciting and motivating to myself to actually create things. I want one that when I look at it, it makes me want to be creative, it makes me want to do well, it gives me ideas, it makes me want to be my best self, basically. I know that some people, when they set these up, they're like, oh, to graduate, to do this, to do that. It's, I just wanna be inspired to create things. So the first thing that you're gonna to want to do to make your desktop wallpaper is to open up Pinterest. Um, so I have a Pinterest account, and I think it's a little bit easier to do if you do have a Pinterest account, just because you can make a board out of all the things that you're thinking of putting on. Um, it also means that you've got backup options for later, and you can just see like a whole wider range of things. Um, so what I tend to do is go through them, adding them onto the board, sort of thinking about things that either inspire me. What do I find inspiring? Or they make me happy or they have some kind of connection to me. Um, so you can see I put in some things from Manchester, some things from Sheffield, which is where I have my connections. Um, and then things that make me happy. So images of people doing cheers for some reason. I think that's really good because it means there's like... It just gets the idea of congratulations and that celebrating something into your head. And that's all that I want from this. It doesn't have to be anything specific for myself. It's just positive things, things that make me feel happy, just things that look nice. So once you've got a few of these together, what you're going to want to do is go through them and download them onto your computer and from there open up Canva. So Canva is a free website for the most part and it is for what we want to do, but what it's going to do is ask you to create an account. It just wants your name and your email address, nothing too serious, no credit card details, don't worry. So once you've got that all sorted, you want to go to templates and then type in desktop background or whatever you want to um, and it's basically got that saved so once you click on there it will give you a nice clean background to work with all you need to do is go to uploads upload and then click on the image um, and then you just do that as many times as you need until you've got what you want on the page and to be honest it's just so it feels so creative and like self-care for me going through these things. It's just a nice relaxing thing to do, but you're also thinking about how you can improve things that inspire you. And it's something that's going to be good for the future as well. So I'll leave you with a time lapse of me making my desktop background.
since my battery ran out. I've been doing it for, let's see, an hour and five minutes. <laughs> but I've just explored it as a PNG and honestly, I'm so happy with how it looks. Um, and now I'm just gonna put it as my background and hopefully it'll look really cool. Ah! It does, it looks so good. I love how it has like, your potential is endless in the middle and then everything else around the outside. What I'm also gonna do is airdrop it to my phone and my iPad so that everything will have like a cohesive look to it. And for example, on my phone, I can have it as different vibes. So I can have it as this one, if I wanna scroll across, there's the middle one or like a, a calmer one. That I think is really cool and it just sort of gives it all a consistent vibe. And that was my first time making a mood board or doing anything like this off Pinterest so I think it's turned out really well considering and it does look motivating. It does look like a laptop that I want to do creative things on and I have this thing of not wanting to set goals for myself because I think that I'm not good enough to get there and I want something that's going to motivate myself to still work towards them and get rid of that mindset because I know that if I don't think I'm going to manage it then I won't. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please give me a like to let me know and please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Now I've got this new laptop I'm hoping to be super creative and uh, yeah I'm excited to get started again. So thank you so much for sticking with me. Love you lots. See you soon.